scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on course at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Now, very quickly, if you are yet, if you are yet to write your prayer request or perhaps in the course of the service, your faith expanded like that of our dear, the gentleman who gave a testimony earlier on in the previous session you may want to add one or two things let me just give you a minute or two please write very quickly and for some of you who may have received prayer requests from your loved ones and you feel you want to add it by faith please just do that quickly for a minute or two then i will request the ushers please do well to collate the prayer requests let's have them in one place so that when it's time to pray we don't have to go around because I'm sure by that time we may not have the liberty to be able to go around and collect everyone's request. So please let's do that uh, within a minute or two. Let's do that within a minute or two. Hallelujah. Within a minute or two, everyone, write by faith. Listen, let me encourage you while you're writing. Philippians 4 and verse 6 says, Do not be anxious for anything. It says, But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, Let your requests be made known unto God. Don't assume he knows it. Write it down as an act of faith. Lord, I'm tired of this level spiritually. Shift me to another one. Lord, I'm tired of these repeated demonic patterns I see in my family. Let it come to an end. Lord, I bring before you any issues I may be having academically, whatsoever. Write it down knowing that in the name of Jesus, this will be the last time you're writing it. Hallelujah. Okay, so if you have that down, please ushers. Um, or all those responsible can you how do we do it now here's what i want you to do so that it does not become rowdy please listen just pass your request to the last person at the left or right of your row anyone at all nobody will read your request don't worry please pass it to the last person so that it'll be easy for the person to drop if the ushers have to go in row by row that will take a lot of time so just pass your request so that ushers you just focus on the last person by the left or right and that makes it very easy i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name oh god for your name is great and greatly to be praised i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name Oh God, 
for your name is great and greatly to be praised lift your hands lift your voices together let's sing on to jesus i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name oh god for your name is great and great Santa Branda Gadavala. Praise is to your name. Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Lift your hands, let it be from the depth of your heart. Fill this temple. With your presence, we wait on you, Lord. We wait on you, we wait on you, Lord. We wait on you. Sing it one more time. We wait. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. While standing, we'll be doing a lot of activities tonight, and that will be very fast. The first that we'll be having tonight is a session of prayer. How many of you believe in the ministry of prayer? When you pray and pray with understanding, you are able to turn the tides of things even to your favor. Acts chapter 12 we're still standing we'll read from verse 1 to about 4 or 5 there's something I want to establish there please get ready to pray when it's time to pray pray like a priest pray without distraction you are edifying yourself and in the place of prayer you are settling issues concerning your life because some of you you are standing here representing yourselves your destinies and your families. Remember Jesus said, he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Acts chapter 12, we'll start from verse 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex Saturn of the church. 2. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison, a place of confinement, a place where his voice would no longer be heard. He says, and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers, to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people read the next verse please verse 5 Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer 
was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Listen to me. Prayer can bring anything that is in the prison to come out. It doesn't have to be a human being alone. Your gifts that are dormant. Your abilities that are locked up. Everything that the devil has stolen. The assignment of a prison is to keep you in a place of confinement. So that your voice will no longer be heard. So that your influence will no longer be heard. So that your destiny would not find expression. There are people in prisons today. They are not dead. They are alive. But they are as good as dead. Because nothing can be heard from them. Listen. In the next 5, 10 or even 15 minutes. You are going to take out time. We are going to be praying in the spirit with every sense of seriousness. Why are we praying? Number one. As a corporate atmosphere of prayer to cultivate your prayer life for some of you in this anointing tonight what God is going to be doing is restoring your prayer fire because it has gone down and believe me you cannot reign in life when the ministry of prayer is dead over your life number two you will be praying to edify yourself to build up capacity in the spirit and number three, you're going to be praying, releasing mysteries that God will bring everything that is locked up, the gifts, the graces, the mantles, the anointing, the prophecies that have been kept in prison that will not let you find expression. It must give way. Is someone ready to pray? In the next 10 minutes, no distraction. It is between you and your Savior. Open your mouth and cry like a priest. Go ahead and pray. Shadagate pakatosh kata pranta gete belekatosia. Shadagate pakapratsa sekete belekatos kata pranta gata bada. Shadigete bereketos katila baranta pakata praska de beletia. You are praying for the sake of your destiny. If you want to walk around, you can walk around. You want to kneel, you can kneel. You want to lie, you can lie. But make sure you are praying. No laziness, no looking around. Pray. Sada bras kete pekete shkali brantos kate laba Embra kata pakata brata kete pekatos koto pregete Kera patas kata branta kete bele kete pras koto pakato predege de bele doch Shabrata kata brata kete bele ketos Embra kata pras koto koto pregete Ikrete kete kete bele kete pras koto prata kata parada bakata predege de bele kete Imbra kete te, shkate kete, kate kete, kebre te keto shkale bragada. Imbra ntas kata la kata brada kete kete bragato na kete bragete kete. Shade kete kete bele kete pros koto bragata. Maga para kata branda kata le kete. Me keto shkati las koso se begede. Imbra ne keto shoto ros kate la barata kata brada kete bele keto. Embrante kete leke prados kali krato shakete leko tos. Ebro toto koto praga dala kata frate kete bele dos. Mata pranta kata prate kete prate kete bele dos. Engre te kete pratus kate praga de bele de bos. Praka ta prate kete pratus koto prate kete bele de bos. Kratos kosi se si bede bede boros. He pray. La krato kata brada gada pranto soto pregede Ambra kadushka libra digede broto skoto pregede La kata brada gada brada gada beleke toska te brato koto shabrinda gadea Maka brada kata brada gada beleke tos Embra kata bros koto brada gada leke tes For the sake of your destiny For the sake of those looking up to you for the sake of your family, parentes shall not be kept apart. Don't go to break it. Let it go. 
e prakata prata kata rekosh kata brotos kotu pratege de belerebus shate parakata parade katosh e prakato to pratos ke le pratege de baratosh ki ada baladoro shabra dagade pras kati lakata pratege de belerebus Mande shade baratos kali prate ke de bela de bo. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Heredes ke de prate ke de pratos kali prahasa da bela de bo. Anda la baraga da prate ke de prate ke de bela ke de prosa de ke de bela de bo. The flesh may be weak, but I assure you, the spirit is willing. Kali baratus kali brandi ke de bara bara. Sabarato salabaraka tabrande ke de belekatos. E de beretos kalebra takata brande ke de belekatos sabarata. Hala shabrata gada brande ke de belekatos sabraka tabrande ke de brande lekatos. Ade mana nama laka tabra dege de belekates. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus. You are going to pray from the depth of your heart, Father. Revive my spiritual life. Revive my prayer life. Revive my word study life. Revive my character. For the next five to six minutes, let that be your cry from the depth of your heart. Purge me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Bring personal revival to my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ale badakata pradegete bereketa revive revive my life revive my destiny revive my prayer altar revive my passion for you revive my passion for the world someone is praying Ale baratoska de brande ge de prate ge te, ela prakatoska li prati ge de bele de bos, sa di brande ge de bele de bos. from the depth of your heart let the fire of revival fall upon my life arabala shalaka tabrata gadebeleke tesh Ebra kata para katos kate brate kate bele koto. Shada brate kate bratos kali bratos esiata. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, we are still praying. 
was he praying a prayer of revival revelation chapter 2 revelation chapter 2 we we'll start our reading from verse 1 we are reading to verse 4 unto the angel of the church in ephesus right this thing saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand who walketh in the midst of the stones the the seven golden candlesticks verse 2 i know thy works and thy labor i know thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not and has found them liars next verse and has born and has patience and for my name's sake you have labored and you have not fainted however verse 4 nevertheless i have somewhat against you because thou hast left thy first love five it says remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else i will come unto you quickly and i will remove thy lampstand or thy candlestick except thou repent you are ready to pray father purge me and restore restore to me my spiritual experiences restore the visions restore the dreams restore the anointings restore the graces every virtue i have lost through carelessness every virtue i have lost through indiscipline every virtue i have lost through lukewarmness revive our lord god restore open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray Revive our God. Restore, 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 restore. Restore fire. Restore dreams. Apratasca de Beleketosh, Emprataka Paracata Paracatosh, Cotopra de Beleketo. Restore my prayer altar. Restore my appetite for your word. Restore my character. Restore discipline to my life. Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you, for you. Oh Lord, will you set my life in order for you, for you. I want to know your ways I want to know your ways Hallelujah Now hear me Listen to me please In this bedeviled world that we live in Can I tell you it takes a grace for high level consecration to carry certain dimensions of the grace and power of god to be consecrated means to be set apart 
you cannot serve the purposes of God and carry certain levels of graces with distractions. Everything calls your attention. Everything seems to be able to win your heart. You are going to pray. Father, dethrone everything that is not you until you become the king of kings seated at the throne of my heart. Every other idol, everything I may have exalted above you, I bring it to the foot of the cross. Lift your voice and pray. Take your place in my life, O oh God. I dethrone every idol. I dethrone everything that has attempted to replace you in my life. Through the sacrifice of consecration, I desire to step into deeper dimensions. No distraction. Shade beleke te branda gada balakash kada bradi, krada bedege te beleke te fras kada balanda bashkania, rapata bradege te prete koska lekrates ka varanda barataria kata pros, shabrege te belede baragash, prakata brandege te belede bos. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Now listen, I know that our time is gone. I will soon begin to pray. Aside from maybe those who are here, if you can, please pair yourselves into three. You're going to pray. Any three people at all. If there's no space, you can look for two people and just hold the hand of someone. Pair yourselves. You're going to hold hands and you are going to pray. The Bible says a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. This prayer is a prayer of covenant with your destiny. That that which God intends for me to fulfill, in the name of Jesus, no power in existence will stop me. You will pray for yourself and the person whose hand you are holding. Lord, every mantle and every grace that must come upon my neighbor, that must come upon my brother for destiny fulfillment. We are intentional about it tonight. Let it fall from heaven. Someone pray, someone pray. Someone pray. He baraka to jakete belekata. Krate kete kete beketo skoto predekete liakata. Em prakato shokoto prakata berekete. Halinde kete pres kete lekete. Krakata baraka to skoto predekete. Em prakata pratekete pratize kete lekata. Everything that makes for preparation for a glorious destiny we agree in prayer this mantle must rest upon us tonight Keep praying, keep praying. Adeke de beleke te brondos kade belata, krapa katas kade brende kade beleke tosh, embre kade kade paraka ta pras kade frende kade, leke te leke te brondos kase zebe kade belebos, mata brada kade brende kade fras sede kade lebara kusha de brende kade balatusia, krapa kade brende kade pras kade leke te bratos kali kaba hasha na bada ba, makata branda kade brende kade kade pere kade.
Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Pray and stretch in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One last prayer point. Don't be tired. You are making an investment for your destiny. You are going to lay your hands on your head and say the glory of my destiny show forth. The glory of my destiny show forth. In the name of Jesus, lay your hands and decree and declare. This is the season where the glory of my destiny must show forth. I lay my hands on my head as a token of my glory. Thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. Someone pray. The glory of my destiny the glory of my call the glory of my assignment hear the word of the lord this is the season when you shine forth show forth manifest pray hey, the glory of my destiny show for show for show for show for in the name of Jesus, show forth the glory of my destiny. Show forth by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, if you pay attention to all the spiritual exercises and the activities tonight, you will marvel and wonder at what your life becomes. Listen, this is how great men are made. There is no other way. This is a sacrifice you are making for your destiny. Tomorrow, if anybody tells you you were just lucky, tell them there is no such thing as luck. There is a cup you are drinking and there is a baptism you are being baptized with. I feel in my spirit to add one more prayer request. The Bible says, and when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. You are going to pray. My spiritual capacity, hear the word of the Lord. For tonight, enlarge until you can carry the mantle of my destiny. Enlarge, enlarge my capacity for the prophetic, my capacity for evangelism, my capacity to receive the mantle of favor. Enlarge by the power of the Holy Ghost. I borrow vessels in the spirit, I borrow not a few. Enlarge, enlarge, enlarge capacity to hear enlarge capacity to see enlarge capacity to speak enlarge
and the gada bela gada braska de bela gada braska de lekata enlarge by the power of the holy ghost enlarge gada branta skate lekata barosko to yataba my spiritual capacity i stretch you by the power of the holy ghost i stretch my hunger i stretch my expectation From the depth of your heart. Shane balaga da branda gata brosko to balash. E branda gata branda gata karabasha la gata. Manda branda gata branda gata. Let's spread the gate of the court of Piada Balada Balada Bosch. In the name of Jesus. 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 Please listen to me. There are five major reasons. And there are five major expectations. That you must have. Every time you come into the presence of God. Whenever God calls for a solemn assembly. It is because he seeks to do five things. Ah. There's such a cloud in this place, my God. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence it fills this place. Consuming fire. Sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills this place. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills my life. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills this place. So fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over, I want to run over, fill me up, till I overflow, I want to run over, I want to run over, fill me up. Till I overflow, I want to run over. Now listen, every time you come before the God of heaven, the first reason why he draws you to himself and to a place like this, is to give you life transforming encounters life transforming encounters let me define for you what an encounter is an encounter is a supernatural experience that makes god become real to you knowing a theoretical god will not do you much as far as destiny is concerned because when you stand before pharaoh he will ask you who sent you 
and you cannot tell Pharaoh about a theoretical God you must tell him about a God you have met the first reason why God draws us to himself at moments like this is to give you encounters so that like Apostle Peter you will say the things that we have seen the things that we have heard the things that our hands have handled even of the word of life that is what we teach number two the second reason why God draws us to himself at times like this is to give us an opportunity for transformation what's he praying transformation is the name given to the process that makes you become like Christ in experience now the Lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty then it says we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of God it says we are changed from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of God so moments like this are supernatural moments that are sponsored by a desire to have transformation in your life number three and that is the major reason why we are here tonight is that when God calls a people to himself in a solemn assembly like this he wants to reveal his grace and his power the revelation of the power of God is very important he says oh that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and even for his wonderful works to the children of men that he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder listen a generation that does not know the power of God will not be able to defend the name of Jesus everyone must know what the power of God looks like not just the word of God not just the message our fathers who left us this heritage were not just people who heard about God they saw his raw power on display and it was on the strength of that that they could live and die for Jesus there are levels of the power of God you must see in your life you must know that he heals you must know that he delivers it's not enough to hear that he heals you must see that he heals it's not enough to hear that he can lift men you must see that he can lift men oh taste and see that the Lord is good not just oh hear and assume taste and see I believe in Jesus Christ today because number one the word of God says so but in all honesty I will tell you I have seen God do spectacular things in my life and in the life of people God wants you to leave this camp with a level of certainty about God that when they tell you God can change a man's story no devil can turn your heart against that truth because you have not only heard you have seen Why do we need miracle signs and wonders? Because there are needs in our lives that only the power of God can solve. There are needs in our lives that go beyond counseling. There are needs in our lives that go beyond advice. We need a head-on collision with the power of the Most High. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel replied and said, the power of the highest shall overshadow you why do you need an encounter with the power of God because there are devils and there are demons and there are spirits determined to thwart the purposes of God over your life many of us here you come from families where you are the first person to rise to this level and let me tell you without the power of God what happened to those who went before you will happen to you too psalm 66 verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you 
Even so, come Yeshua, come. Even so, come and take your bride away. How my soul longs to see your face, my King. Even so, even so, come Yeshua, come. What is the fourth reason why God draws us to himself? I will tell you, the fourth reason why he calls us to himself is to give us an opportunity to receive an impartation of his grace. Hallelujah. Impartation. What is impartation? Impartation is the transference of spiritual possibilities. The possibilities of the kingdom that come by the grace of God can be transferred. That means you can leave this camp with an anointing you did not come with. You can leave this camp with a mantle you did not come with. And people will look at you and say, when did Saul also become one of the prophets can i tell you this you must expect to carry something this night that you were not born with you must expect to carry something on your destiny this night i can tell you specific moments in my life when certain graces came i knew when they came and i knew the difference they made in my life when the mantle and the grace for favor comes on your life, you will know. When the healing anointing comes on your life, you will know. When the grace for revelation comes upon your life, you will know. When the grace for the prophetic comes upon your life, you will know. When the grace that was upon Esther comes on your life, you will know. Now listen carefully. Because we are going to get into a very deep moment of, of ministration and impartation. You came here tonight. You have listened to teachings after teachings. Now is the time for something from heaven to land upon your destiny. Jesus put in my heart an instruction and a mandate I have said it for as many times as I have come here that every nation and every city every church and every region he would send me to that I will find people in that congregation that the light that came from him to me there must be someone in that congregation he told me that that light should come on listen carefully many of you have heard about my encounters i've only shared a bit of them this man standing before you is a product of many 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 encounters listen very carefully there are angels in this place number two there are graces that are looking for men who will carry them in this place now please listen very carefully for some of you your being here tonight is the 20 year prayer that your mother kept praying and say lord i didn't have the opportunity to be used by you but if you can find my son or my daughter please place something upon their life Now listen carefully, please. Don't be distracted. There are conditions to receive maximally in an atmosphere like that, like this. And that's what I want to tell you very quickly and then we'll begin, I begin to minister. Number one is that you must believe in the God of heaven. Believe that God is the giver of every good thing. For the Bible declares that every good thing and perfect gift cometh from above from the father of lights 
in whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning number two you must believe in the vessel that he has sent you can believe in god and not believe in the vessel he has sent to you can i tell you it is not every anointing available that blesses you is the anointing sent to you for the bible says there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent to that means elijah as powerful as he was he passed other widows and could not help them but there was a specific one i will tell you hunger and determination can attract the anointing to your direction I have been to many meetings in my life especially during the formative years as God was making and building me I would run into powerful meetings and just hide there like a sponge with hunger with deep honor and reverence to Jesus and reverence to the anointing and receive dramatic impartations I wish I had the time I would have shared with you in details how certain anointings came to my life i wasn't born with any one of them please hear me for some of you you have been coming for this congress for a few years but you've not been discerning enough and you went back without receiving anything serious god is giving you a chance tonight for some of you this may be your first time being here god is giving you a chance tonight for some of you you have come but you see yesterday's oil cannot solve today's challenges i came here tonight in addition to teaching you all of the things you have learned to release by faith the power of god over your lives and over your situations but then to leave you with a deposit of an anointing that you will go back like the foxes that samson released and you will go everywhere bringing glory to the name of the lord signs and wonders through your life manifestations of strange graces through your life this is what god wants to do are you ready for it tonight Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. One more time. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Now, please listen very carefully. There are men and women here, everybody has a role. And an assignment to play in destiny but there are specific people here the call for destiny and the call to serve the purposes of God has been trailing you like a shadow and God has been beckoning on you some of you have seen it in dreams you have seen God use you mightily now the time has come for that grace to locate you listen i'm going to pray for you and the power of god will begin to fall on so many people please whether you are an usher or not i want you to bring this category of people that i'm praying for right now hear me that the call of god is upon your life and the grace of god is marvelously looking for you and at work in you for some of you it is the prophetic 
for some of you it is the evangelistic for some of you it is the pastoral right now at the count of three i'm going to stretch my hands the marvelous fire of god will fall upon you let me have them out here right now at the count of three father in the name of jesus over the men and the women here may that mantle and that grace locate you now at the count of three one two three take that fire now bring them out take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now i ignite your spirit man bring them out that call of destiny that grace you are answering that call tonight oh by his angel may he visit you i release that grace upon your life i release that mantle upon your life i release that anointing upon your life let the power of the holy ghost come upon you now please whether you are an usher or not Help those under the anointing. Eva shina malana malana na 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 ba. Kale prate kete reke tos kate pranda gata balatos. Ekra kata paragos kale pranda kosa di baliata. Kale bares kati pranda gatusiata. Take that grace. Your destiny will never be the same. Now listen carefully. Hear me. There are some of you here under my, the sound of my voice. There is a mantle for prophetic intercession. It's a grace that is made for the altar. An anointing that will rest upon you. And grant you capacity to pray over nations capacity to release nations in prayer at the count of three may that grace fall upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now the grace for prayer and intercession please help them don't allow anybody run around without holding them whether you are an usher or not please so they don't injure themselves receive that grace receive that grace prophetic intercession like elijah like anna the prophetess hallelujah hallelujah that gentleman wearing a tag putting your hand on your head this man yes you come you are a student where lift your hands god is going to use you mightily there is an anointing coming on you take that grace now in the name of jesus christ you will step into new seasons of the grace and the power of God. Now hear me. I want to rebuke the spirit of delay that has tied down your destiny. And as I pray for you, some of you, that spirit that has tied down your destiny, begging you at the same level, it must let you go now. Are you ready? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and that fire will rest upon you that every altar holding you down that will not let you go it must release you now father let there be liberty at the count of three shout Jesus one two three I command that devil go now delay I cause you help them help them help them help them please hold them Delay, I curse you, 
by the Spirit of God. Delay, I curse you. Delay, I curse you. I release you to go forward. I release you to go forward. I break those chains now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is by the name Abimbola? Abimbola. I'm hearing a name Abimbola. Is there someone like that? Abimbola. Abimbola. Your life and your family is about to change. Who is that person? Please make sure you verify so we don't have this place rowdy. What's your name? I want to pray for you. Where are you from? Who is from Ekiti? You are from where? What state? Is the mic working? Please sound, help us. Ekiti state. You are from Ekiti state. Where are you from? I'm going to pray for all of you, but this word is for you. My dear, look at me. The Lord is visiting your family. Huh? I'm, I want to pray for you. I don't know anything about you. But the Lord is revealing to me that the family of Abimbola from Ekiti State, there is a wicked altar that has tied down people from your family. And you are still a victim of that thing as I'm praying. But right now, I command that devil to let out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Halanda shalakroskadi labaruzia tebra haskia. My dear, look at me. This one. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing something running around your head like smoke. I command that devil to let you go now in the name of Jesus. And I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free from every confusion. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Is there a name like Adiolu? Ade, like Ade and Olu. Ade Olu, who is that? Ade Olu. This is, I, this is a lady. I'm seeing white and blue. White, is it white and blue? White, is there someone like that? What? Please verify, don't just bring them out. We're on air. What's her name? Huh? Abiolu. Abiolu. The person I'm seeing is Ad. I'll pray with you, but I'm saying Ade. A D E O L U. That's the name. I want to pray for you. My dear, listen to me. Do you believe in the power of God? Where is your mother? Where is home? I'm going to pray for you. Tell your mom that you came to this place and the Lord hijacked the spirit of death over your family. Hallelujah. Please make sure no one is injured. Whether you are an usher or not, once someone is under the anointing close to you, it becomes your business to help them even while you are receiving. Please. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare what God says to one, he says to all. Every manifestation of the spirit of death over anyone's family, right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead I curse it in the name of Jesus 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 I curse it in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. my dear I declare freedom for your family particularly your mother in the name of Jesus the fullness of her days she will fulfill in Jesus name I pray now hear me, the Lord is revealing something for me. I believe that there may be a number of people having that situation. Every time anything good is about to happen, or even your exam is about to happen, you will have a dream. And in that dream, either you will see something coming to molest you, or you will see yourself in an old building. I know that many people may have that experience. 
I may not ask you to come out just where you are. I'm going to pray with you because there will be so many people. Something is about to happen to you now. Hear me, please. Everyone under the sound of my voice, including these ones, at the count of three, every spirit that is not of the Christ, now massive deliverance will happen here right now. So please, um, you will see all kinds of manifestations. Please do well to help the people. I decree and declare, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. And I will command every spirit that is not of God. It must release your destiny. Your time of liberty is now. Be intentional about this. Father, I pray that every spirit that has tied anyone's life and destiny, stopping them from manifesting destiny, right now at the count of three, I pray may your fire come and bring liberty for them. Are you ready now? At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, my God. Two, three. Now I command that devil, come out of them now. Out of their destinies. Out of their lives. Every cause, every yoke, every spirit. I challenge you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. I rebuke every spirit. Go, 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 go. Out of their destinies. Out of their lives, out of their families. Help that lady, please. Hallelujah. Don't be tired. I'm still praying. Look up, please. Let me teach you something. Please look up. Let me have your attention. Can I tell you this? most of the challenges that are written in the prayer requests you've written most of them are caused by the presence of wicked spirits jesus himself said well men slept an enemy came and sowed something and you will wake up with a condition i'll be praying for the sick shortly but we are still going to shout that name one more time hear me everything that has tied you down he told lazarus he said lose him lose him and let him go he tied your father and your father could not succeed he tied those who went before you but you are that one person who will break free from it and say no way are you ready to shout that name jesus father i pray that anyone across this ground who is a victim of any oppression by the power of the Holy Ghost and the blood of the eternal covenant at the count of three let their liberty come finally one two three shout Jesus powers of ancestry powers of witchcraft foundations wickedness spirits of inheritance diabolic manifestations of darkness release God's people now release God's people now open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare I am free from every chain that held me back I am come on someone pray I am free. I release myself by the blood of Jesus. Are you praying? Are you praying? I declare my liberty over yokes, over curses, by the blood of the eternal covenant. I am free from yokes of ancestry, foundations, He who the Son sets free 
indeed is free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus help that help them please these are just demonic manifestations I set them free it doesn't mean the people are witches and wizards you understand by now that God is setting them free now please look up listen carefully just listen to instructions listen carefully I want you to place your hand on your head I want to pray a prayer for you just do what I'm asking you to do you'll be surprised to see what happens now father I'm stretching my hands now anyone's destiny that has been exchanged that you, the destiny you are living is not what you God preordained for you because by witchcraft and manipulation that your destiny has been exchanged Shanaz Kadila Pata as you are laying your hands on your head the power of God is coming on a few people right now I decree and declare Manas every spirit that has hijacked and manipulated your destiny let there be a restoration now help them please a restoration now a restoration now a restoration now hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you